Florida's special legislative session started next week to consider a constitutional ban on offshore oil drilling. Governor Charlie Crist called a short session from July 20th to the 23rd because he wanted lawmakers to focus on that single issue. But he's getting more requests to expand the session's focus, especially on financial help for businesses and people hurt by the BP oil spill. Senator Tony Hill says a recent visit to Pensacola convinced him that the special session should include more issues than just deciding whether to put an amendment on the ballot. A giant Taiwanese oil skimmer has collected 6.3 million gallons of oily water from the Gulf of Mexico as tests continue to prove its worth in the cleanup effort. Bob Grantham, a spokesman of TMT Offshore Group, which owns the A Whale vessel, said on Tuesday that the oil water mixture has been collecting during the past three days. He says the closer that the vessel gets to heavy oil, the more effective it will be. The skimmer is capable of sucking up to 21 million gallons of oily water per day. The L whale been performing tests in the Gulf since last week. The US Coast Guard has given the skimmer until Thursday to prove its value. Brazil said it started drilling a second well at its offshore Libra oil field after a mechanical problem forced it to abandon a previous attempt to assess the size of deep water reserves. Drilling of a new well about 370 meters away from the first began last week, the press office of the ANP oil regulator said uh, today in an email response to questions. The ANP said in May when its first well started that it would take about five months to complete. That's all the news making waves as of now. To come back for more news making waves. Till then, it's goodbye from the studios.